Are we going to be able to tip this over and make it lean on back? Uh, right. Fancy a bit of running around, do you, Butch? Oh, yeah. Okay, son. Don't go too far. We didn't hear you, silly. Oh, okay. Hello. 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 Okay, it's time to do some reaming. Got to get out our big black 12 inch drill bits. And we got 5 16 and half inch. Now, I'll have to do the pump in a little bit, which is over there, but I started with the block. And I'm just making sure, okay, where are we at? I'm gonna make sure this one was open. This one here, I had to drill it out because it, it was it was probably uh, seven sixteenths instead of a half, maybe. You could see it was neck down in there, so I drilled it out, and that comes. Your pump goes through here out into the filter from the filter, and then. From there it goes back up through. Now I'm gonna have to take this plug out of the back. It's down here, I don't know if you can see where that's at. I have to take this plug out back here. What's going on, where's my camera, here it is. Sorry. And this plug, that's back here, I'll have to take it out and drill through here uh, to open up that hole uh, for the filter. For the oil to go back up into the engine okay and then the only other thing i'm going to do the block really is they're saying that you want to get oil to the mains so that way you can get enough oil to your uh rod bearings because with the chrysler it's all pretty good to like 7,000 rpms or so 6500 i guess and then uh but this is like the limiting factor these here so I drilled one of them out and it actually drilled out pretty easy. This is just a $15 drill that I got from Home Depot. Like I think this one, or, no, that one was only 10. It's not even for hard, hard steels, but it still drilled it pretty easy. Let me set this up and we'll see if we can. What's that, Isla? What you do with all these tools? You're the super reader? to get that opened up to the oil galley. 
is that uh, that one oil gal it feeds the mains all the way across. And you don't want to open up the other holes going up to the cam to the cam shaft because you could actually restrict them from what I've read. So I'm running hydraulic, I'm running hydraulic lifters, so I'm not going to restrict the uh, oil, the lifter galleys either. So I just need oil to the main. After I got the first one done, I went ahead and put this on there so I wasn't trying to drill through the oil galley. But, as you can see, bam. Nice and smooth. A bit of smoke. All the way through. And that's the oil galley that feeds the main bearings which then through the crank, it'll feed the rods. And then I'll chamfer the crank like I did the other one. Uh, and then also, see I gotta do a little deburr in here. And the very last thing will be this hole coming up from the filter back that feeds into the block. That hole there, and then that way, it needs to be drilled out. So then you can get full flow going in. Because my main concern is feeding the mains and the rods here. Uh, everything else is all up to snuff because I'm not gonna uh, 6500 6800 being max RPM for me anyway so okay I got lots of cleaning and then I got to do this one last thing I'm gonna go look on the internet make sure I know what I'm doing with that to drill it out and I'll be done well the pump I can look at this pump and see this here I have to take it apart and uh, we'll have to open that up and then the pickup tube I'm not sure if I'm gonna we'll have to see I might make a, a 5 8 or 3 quarter pickup if I've got enough meat around that to open it up because the pickup is really the main thing that I for this Mopar small blocks the pickup is the biggest thing making sure your pickup is big enough and then your pump is worked to get the flow through it so anyway back to work okay this hole here goes through to your main you can see it goes all the way through here on the block that one was definitely undersized that hole was really undersized so i bored it out and the last hole that I have to do, which this one gets a plug because it goes up through here and then up. Um, so this has a plug in it. I just got to pull this little plug out and drill that hole that way. It's on an angle. 
to intersect this, then those get plugged up and so the oil goes through here and then whoop, up into the block, into the galley and into the, okay.